Lucas, turn around. Lucas Parker once loved puddles and playgrounds. Whee! Good for medication. This is Lucas now. A little more than a year ago, he got E. coli from romaine lettuce in a salad he shared with his dad on a family vacation to California. Now the three-year-old is blind, barely moves, little steps, and needs constant little care steps. from his parents, Carla and Nathan. I, I, I don't leave him. I will not leave Lucas. After everything that he's been through and everything that's happened to him in life. There are now more E. coli illnesses caused by vegetables like romaine and leafy greens than any other food group, 48%. Since 2017, there have been eight outbreaks, sickening 508 people, killing six. But the FDA has not fined a single grower, in part because the agency often can't trace back the source of contamination to a particular farm. The FDA is heavily dependent on the industry on regulating itself. Reporting for the Boston Globe, Christine Haney spent six months investigating the FDA's response to tainted lettuce outbreaks. Lucas got sick on October 18, 2018, one of more than 60 reported illnesses. But it wasn't until November 20th that the government linked the illnesses to romaine and warned the public. Don't eat it, don't serve it at Thanksgiving, and don't buy it until further notice. Nearly a month later, on December 13th, a California farm issued a voluntary recall at the request of the FDA after the agency found E. coli in sediment from the farm's reservoir. But the FDA was not able to say that's what made Lucas and others so sick. Everything is still paper-based, so FDA investigators will walk in and will just be handled thousands of pieces of paper and say, kind of, figure it out. The FDA's Frank Yanis is trying to modernize the system. We're working with growers and producers to try to digitize those records so we can trace a contaminated food item back to source in seconds rather than days. Some critics, including lawmakers, say that the FDA shies away from mandatory regulation and that it relies too heavily on growers to police themselves. How do you respond to that criticism? Uh, I don't necessarily agree with that. You know, we're doing more inspections on farms than ever before. We're doing sampling of food products. We're making sure that we do our part and hold producers accountable. But any changes come too late for Lucas Parker and his family. <laughs> Nobody ever expects to take care of their son like this. You don't plan for this. Vicki Wynn, NBC News, Silver Spring, Maryland. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.